Hey there, this is Akshit Madan and welcome back to the day 3 of uh, 30 days, 30 concepts of Flutter and this series is specially built for beginners and if you are new on this channel, you can like my videos and subscribe to my channel. You can also follow me on the social media links. I post some really amazing stuff on my Instagram page, right? So if you encounter any doubt uh, during the series, you can reach out to me on my Telegram channel, right? So yes, so without wasting more time, we are going to study in this uh, part that is day three, the text and the elevated button, right? So now we should move on to my Visual Studio code and let's start coding. So as, uh, as you can see, I'm on my Visual Studio code and you know that in the previous part, we covered about rows and columns. So now I hope that you don't have any doubt in this rows and columns, but if you have, you can reach out to me in my comment section also and in my Telegram channel also. So let's create a, again a different file in this widget folder that is button dot dot because in this file we will be exploring the two different types of buttons that we have that is a text button and a, and an elevated button. So let's define a let's import material dot dot first of all and then we are going to define a stateless widget called the button buttons dot dot. Yeah, buttons. Let's call it button widget. So button widget. Now, you know, you already know about a column, right? So in this, we are going to use a column also. So first of all, let's define a scaffold. So scaffold. So scaffold is nothing but a simple way to start our app or it's like a roof or of our home, right? So let's define app bar. So in this app bar, I'm going to define the uh, title. So title will be taking a text widget. And in this text widget, I'm going to tell that this complete uh, screen is about button, right? So let's just say, let's just save it. And I'm going to, I'm going to go in main dot dart and instead of returning rows calls, I'm going to return button widget, button widget. Let's just save it. You can see a simple screen with an app bar uh, which has a title of button. So let's go to button and in this first of all I'm going to define the body. So in the body I'll be having a simple column. So let's define a column. So column and we can define children. You already know about rows and columns right that's I'm not covering. So column. Now First of all, we are going to study about a text button. So if I define a text button and in this text button, we have a child that is a compulsory uh, option that you have to write. So let's define a child and we have one more compulsory thing that is on press because if you are not defining a press uh, parameter to your text button, then what is the purpose of a text button? Button is supposed to be pressed, right? That's why we have to provide on press. Now in this child, first of all, we are going to define a simple text so let's define a text as press me. So press me and you can define the on press parameter and it is going to take a function because it is because whenever you are going to press a button, it should uh, do a task and task is nothing but a function, right? So we can define a simple function and for now we are going to keep it empty. So you can see a simple text button over here on the top left corner and you can see that I'm also able to click it right you can see the gesture now i want to keep this button at the center so for that i can define the main axis alignment main axis alignment dot center it will be like vertically in the center but to keep it horizontally I, you can also define cross axis alignment and i will just wrap it with the center widget and you will be able to see that now my text button is at the exactly at the center. Now I want that it should uh, be having a little bigger size, right? Uh, it should not be so small. So for that, I can just try to increase the size of the text. So I can just define style over here. Style, text style, and I'll define font size. Let's keep it 20. Let's just save it. You can see that now my button size is has increased, right? Perfect. Right. Now you can see this uh, uh, button is of transparent color and when I click it, it is giving me a blue color gesture, right? 
that's uh, all the that comes under the properties of this text button everything we are going to see and everything we are going to uh, change also so in this text button uh, in this text button we have a property called style and this style is going to like beautify your text button it is going to just uh, bloom your text button right so in this style we can define a uh, button style so this button style we are also going to see in the elevated button so let's define button style and in this button style you can define the background color because you can see that currently the background color is transparent so i can define the background color as so you can you can't just provide colors dot black or colors dot blue over here right so you have to use material state property and because we are using the updated version of flutter that's why we need to use material state property but if you are using an older version of flutter then you can directly write colors dot blue or colors dot pink right but i will suggest you that you should update your flutter because all the coming videos will be using the updated version and the latest version of flutter only so let's define material state property and you can define dot all and over here in this value you can define any color let me just use colors dot uh, let's just put it uh, yellow and i can just save it you can see a yellow color button is in front of me right and i want i want to change the color of this text so for that thing i can just uh, give a property to this text style that is color i want to keep it color start black color start black i will save it you can see a black text is over here and again when i click on this text button there is a gesture in it right perfect so we have changed the background color of this text button now you can also give more properties to this text button style let's see we uh, give elevation so when you hit control plus space you can see that we are having so many properties and you are also having a padding so let's first of all give the elevation elevation as a name said it is going to give a little elevated it is going to make your text button little elevated so let's just give it so for that also we have to use material state property so material state property yes dot all and let's see let let's give it 20 so it will be like elevated from the bottom so as you can see let me just uh, minimize it and let me just increase the size you can see it is it is having a little shadow uh, below this text button so that is going to give you an elevated like uh, feeling so we actually don't give so much elevation i have given it 20 but mostly we give 10 or 5 that looks better okay so remember it so okay we have given the elevation now what i want to do now i want to give the overlay color that is whenever i click on this uh, button it should give me uh, that splash color so let's give overlay color for that also we need to use material state property so material state property dot all and you can define any color so let's define colors dot black so that you can see whenever i click on this uh, button so whenever i click you can see a black color splash is there right so this is how you can just uh, uh, play with your text button and you can make this text button as beautiful as you can right perfect now you can also give padding to to the content of this text button as you can see it is a little sticking to the border of this text button this text so what i can do i can give one more parameter called padding and again you have to give material state property dot all and you have to provide edge insets dot all or you can provide edge insets dot only i will provide edge insets dot all and you can provide 10 and when i save it you can see that now it has a little more space so to show you more clearly i will make it a little bigger let's say 50 and when i save it you can see that how it has uh, uh, increased the spacing between my content that is my child and the main text button right so this is how you can just play with this text buttons and you can make them as beautiful as you can now i think we should move on to the uh, elevated button so what is the difference between the text button and an elevated button right so as the name suggests, elevated button will be having some more uh, unique UI features, right? Or uh, it will also be having this button style. Nothing is different. But let's see. Let's see. Instead of this uh, in the comma, because that's why I had defined a column so that I can make as many buttons as I want. So I will define a elevated button. 
in the previous versions you will be not having this elevated button you will be having a raised button right so this is also having two uh, compulsory parameters that is a child and a on pressed feature so i'll just make it a simple function and let's say when I click on this elevated button button, I want to just print uh, like, right? I can provide semicolon. Yes. Now in this child, we have to provide something. So I will again provide a simple text. So let me just copy this simple text and control C and control V. So simple text. Yes. So let's just save it. And you can see again a simple elevated button over here. And what I can do is I can just provide a simple sized box between them so that they should have a little spacing. So size box, I'll provide a height as 20 and let's just save it. And now you can see a simple raised button is in front of me. Nice. So let's start beautifying this raised button. So let's first say that I want to increase the height and width of this uh, raised button of this elevated button. Sorry. Right. So how I can do it? So this elevated button is not having a, a property called height and width. So for that, I have to wrap this elevated button with a container. The same thing you can do with a text button also, right? So let's just wrap it with a container and I can provide it height, let's say uh, 70. And let's say I want to provide it a width of uh, let's say 200 and let's just save it. Let's save it. And you can see this is my button. Let's just decrease the height to 50 and let's just increase the width to 300. Let's just save it. Yes, now it looks, uh, now it is looking beautiful. And you can also see the splash button, a uh, splash feature, that gesture. And whenever I'm clicking on this uh, uh, raised, uh, this elevated button, you can see like is printed in the console, right? Perfect. Now let's give uh, styling to this elevated button. Same thing we can do. Uh, we can just define style then again button style and in this button style i will not uh, teach you the same things same thing you can also apply to this elevated button but now i will be teaching you the border radius you can also give the border radius to your text button right so let's define button style so for providing the border radius we have to provide we can't just provide border radius parameter it is not having a border radius parameter i have to provide a shape so i'll provide a shape and to this shape, I'll be providing a material state property, material state property dot all. And in this all, I'll be defining rounded rectangle, a border. So rounded rectangle border. And to this border, I can define border radius. So border radius border radius dot all sorry dot circular because i want to provide a circular radius let's provide 20 let's just save it and you can see that how how beautifully it has changed the border radius i can provide a little more border radius so that it should be perfect circular let's provide 40 and uh, yes you can see that now it is looking perfect i will provide i will change the text color to white and i will just save it and now it is looking perfect you can also give the theme color to providing uh, so how you can provide a theme color every time you don't have to provide colors or deep purple right you can just write theme dot off theme dot off context dot primary color let's just save it and the primary color will be applied to it but i want to apply this primary color to my elevated button not this so i'll again provide colors dot white to this colors dot white to this and I'll provide primary color to my elevated button. So for that, you know that I have to provide a background color and material state property, material state property dot all. Then you can provide theme dot off, theme dot off, context dot primary color. Let's save it. Yes, now it is looking perfectly fine perfect so now you have studied about uh, elevated buttons then text buttons then how you can wrap them with containers so that you can change the height and width then you have seen the button style properties but background background, uh, background colors and shapes border radius 
then shadows and elevations then overlay colors everything we have seen right so i hope you like this video if you have any doubt you can reach out to me on my telegram channel and till the next content keep coding keep innovating and thanks a lot